running multiple apps leading to deactivation to termination that's what we're talking about right here keep sticking around all right all right all righty all right what's going on everybody welcome back to paid to drive and paid to drive logs thank you harvey thank you to our fake fictional studio audience fake and fictional that's the same thing but you guys know the deal welcome to the ptd vlogs day number 966 or paid to drive or wherever i'm putting this hope you guys are doing well out there uh if you are a delivery driver in the gig economy you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications on down below make sure real quick that you're subscribed with all notifications on tap tap that little bell and let's see if we can go for 100 likes on this video guys i'd really appreciate it let me know how many likes we have right now anybody anybody bueller anyone all right, so here's what we're talking about. This has been uh, a discussion lately that's been going on in the gig economy. Uh, I've mentioned this previously in some videos about multi-apping being related to uh, deactivations on DoorDash or Grubhub. Do they know if you're working on other apps? Here's, here's what I think is happening, okay? because I still keep getting emails about this and messages and comments about this, so I figured I'll talk about it again. Here's what I think is happening. If you are an independent contractor, which you are, you're a 1099 independent contractor, okay? You are allowed to work as many apps as you want, you know, at whatever time you want, okay? However, what is happening more and more is because drivers are seeing that maybe one platform like just Grubhub or one platform like Uber Eats or DoorDash, just one by itself is not cutting it for them. So therefore they are turning on multi apps. They're turning on Grubhub, DoorDash and Uber Eats and Postmates at the same time, or they're turning on Grubhub and DoorDash or Grubhub and Uber Eats or DoorDash and Uber Eats, you know? So like when I first started with Grubhub, I used to run uh, Grubhub and Uber Eats if it was slow. Otherwise I would just stay on Grubhub. So basically what, it, what I think is happening is because drivers are leaving on the apps constantly and not turning them off, they're just accepting orders on both. And it's like, all right, I'm on a Grubhub delivery right now. I'm going to accept the DoorDash one and I'll get to it when I'm done. So then as soon as they're done with the Grubhub one, they're on the way to the DoorDash one, and then th then a Grubhub order comes in. Then they accept the Grubhub order. Now that order's waiting. They go take the DoorDash order. Instead of just going directly to the Grubhub order, now they're doing both in two different directions, and it's pissing off the customer, it's pissing off the restaurant, and it's pissing off DoorDash and Grubhub. So I'm assuming, this is just my opinion, it's just a theory here, that what's happening is they're seeing that the times that the orders are accepted from the point that they're actually picked up and delivered, it's just like there's it doesn't make sense. And it's obvious that the driver is doing another app. I've even seen it myself as a customer when I've ordered food. I'm like, why is my driver dr driving in the complete different direction? Multi-apping. So that's my theory on the whole thing. I'm just curious. Do you think that that's a possibility? I'm not saying for sure. Tell me if you agree or if you disagree, but of course, be respectful. Be nice. Come on. Everybody's being so angry these days. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm just curious. And of course, I want to take this time to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash pay to drive. Links in the description if you want to come sign up and hang with us. Um, links in the description, like I said. Uh, they're on the screen right now. Thank you to all of these people. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much for being so supportive. And of course, my way of saying thank you to you guys, make Make sure you all download the get upside gas app guys save lots of money on your gas for free if you're paying for gas might as well make money back on it right so download the link in the description on your smartphone pump your gas print out your receipt take a picture of your receipt with the get upside gas app and within 48 hours or so you'll get anywhere from 45 cents to no, 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back and uh you know it's pretty great and if a friend or family member signs up using your code you'll get paid every time they pump gas it's called get upside links in the description down below make sure you download it and check it out quick one more quick reminder make sure to smash that like down below not too many likes subscribe with all notifications on and that's all i got for you be excellent to each other and we'll see you next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive logs peace everybody